Yeah, Tracy and Steve, the conditions here have gotten a little bit better throughout the day, but it was around 10 a.m. when the town of Waldeboro decided to ground its plow trucks because of some whiteout conditions. As of now, you can see they're gassing up, getting back out on the roads, but it was that blowing snow and the heavy wind contributing to those whiteout conditions. Very poor visibility all throughout Route 1. It was slow going from Bath all the way north here to Waldeboro, where we are now. And, you know, it was without the plows that the snow started to accumulate on Route 1 and on Ralph's Hill, they call it, when you come right into or out of Waldeboro, semi trucks, tractor trailers were getting stuck. They were jackknifing on that road because they couldn't get up uh, or down to continue on with their route. So they had to call in tow trucks and pull them to safety here at this Irving gas station parking lot where we are right now. And earlier today, we caught up with a driver of one of those tractor trailers as well as a tow truck driver from Automaster who was helping them out. So for four hours, I had Route 1 tied up. So nice uh, truck driver came and got me, tow truck driver came and got me unstuck, and uh, here I sit until the storm is done, basically. They're just going sideways, can't make it up the hills, the, the roads, there's so much snow, they can't keep up with the plow trucks. So. Yeah, so you heard it there. Four hours that Route 1 was closed in both directions. Now they have uh, towed them here to safety, and you can see I think there's three of them still in the parking lot. They're going to ride out the storm probably until 7 or 8 or so, and then they'll get back on their way. That's the latest live from Waldeboro. Katie Thompson, WMTW News 8.